here is if you need to do, let's say, preliminary design for tender purposes in this area, you don't have the time or the resources, or of course you're in lockdown, then you can obtain the survey from Google Earth. Again, back into Google Earth. And then you turn on the CAD layer again. And then you zoom into that position. Okay, and centralize it and then go to view and reset the tilt and compass. This is purely for accuracy purposes. Now please note that you wouldn't want to base your final design levels on these extracted elevations. It would only be for preliminary project purposes. Back in Silver Designer, still in my CAD mode, I go back to Tools, External Utilities, and this time I go and specify Google Earth Grid. This will obtain the Y, X, Z coordinates inside Google Earth of what is visible on the screen. Specify where you'd like to save it. In the top, you can go and specify your grid dimension, and that would determine the interval of your survey points from each other. Again, your projection settings is set up according to your project, and then you click on OK. Elevation file has been created, and now you'd bring it in like any other ASCII file. And this we covered in last week's session. So we go to your survey mode, Go back to File, Import, ASCII, Single File, change your file type to a data file, and go and select newly created Google Earth Extraction. As mentioned last week, this is a comma delimited file because our values are separated by commas. This column represents my Y, my X, and my Z coordinates. If that's not the case, you could always click on that header again and go and make changes. Don't forget that we've got 255 surfaces that you can work with. There it is, I'm going to go and press ZL on my keyboard for zoom last and then turn on my elevations. You are now at a stage where you can triangulate your points in order to get your contour.